So sort of a, a general background. So this, this organization is being uh, proposed to be formed. Uh, the primary ownership group is the Fertitta Brothers, who also were involved with the USC dating back to 2001. Dana White, myself, Endeavor, the group out of Los Angeles, uh, who also owns a portion of the UFC. Who? who? Endeavor. Oh, Endeavor was both. Yeah. Uh, uh, an equity group, uh, Deep Capital, and, and the primary member, Ed Antonius, and also Craig Bligian, who owns the Silver Media Group. And in short, what we're here today to discuss is, is asking the Commission to regulate what we believe is going to be a new sport called slap fighting. This is something that's been around now for a number of years. It's gone sort of viral on the internet in different ways, but not dissimilar from what we've done with the UFC and the approach that we've taken is we've recognized this is an opportunity. You know, with the help of Sheriff Klubeck and Mr. Becker and Jeff Mullen, you know, we've spent the last year sort of beta testing this in a controlled environment to really test and see sort of the dynamic of how this would function as an actual league and real sport. Uh, what we've found is that this is actually a skilled sport, that the participants that are at a high level in this are skilled athletes. They train, they're in good shape, they take it seriously, not dissimilar to what you see with MMA and boxing. Uh, again, our approach was similar to the UFC, move towards regulation before this is an actual thing to prevent two things that we see. One is the health and safety component. So because this has been going on for a number of years, there are no medical testings being done. A lot of these events are taking place in bars and basically warehouses, and, and, and there's a very loose structure around it. And with any sort of combat where you're taking shots to the head, uh, to have it done in a way where there isn't medical procedures and regulations put around it is an unsafe environment. The second issue is integrity of the sport. So the other thing that we've seen is you've seen instances where a guy might be 400 pounds and you're slapping a guy who's 130 pounds. And that's also not what we're looking to do. So with the help of Executive Director Mullen and, again, Mr. Becker, we've taken the rules of MMA and sort of modified them and applied them to slap, where what we hope to achieve is something very similar where you have weight classes, brain scans, all the blood testing, and most importantly, actual medical staff on site to make sure that these events are conducted in a, in a, in a, health, in a health and safe way. And that's sort of the overview, but really the appeal today is to say, we believe the Athletic Commission has the jurisdiction to regulate the sport. And our concern is that they choose not to do it, you choose not to do it. And what you're ultimately going to see as this grows is you're going to see, you know, I call it sort of the sports bar slap contest where you're going to get two 56-year-old guys drunk at a bar and they're going to be slapping each other for $200 prize money. And ultimately, nothing is going to be Um, I think the sport needs to be regulated. If uh, we don't regulate it, it will be taking place everywhere, all over town, without regulation, without any kind of safety standards. By regulating this, we can make sure that there's doctors there, ambulances there, that uh, the fighters have physical, they have eye exams, they have MRIs, MRAs, and if we don't regulate it, it's uh, we're going to have people, you know, competing right off a bar stool, as he said, and it's going to be a dangerous situation. So I think for the health and safety of our constituents, I think we have to do that. And if we look at NRS 467.0107. The uh, way unarmed uh, combat is combined, it says unarmed combat means boxing or any form of competition in which a blow is usually struck, which may reasonably be expected to inflict injury. So it falls under our uh, definition. So I think we are, uh, that we need to regulate this. So, gentlemen, explain. So, just the face? Yeah. Yeah. No ears, no eyes, no, no back of neck, no Correct. back of head. And that's also getting to the point of regulation that allows us to sort of formalize the structure for the health and safety of the sport. So to answer your question, Chairman, there's a, for lack of a better term, a slap zone on the face. It doesn't involve the temple. It doesn't involve the ear. It involves a very narrow section of the face. Anything outside of it is a foul. And as I think we presented to Executive Director Mullen, we sort of beta test it. You have referees and sort of spotters around to make sure that fouls don't occur. You have referees and inspectors. Right. So it would be the same type of overlay that we have in MMA. Absolutely. I, I saw the beta test, um, fellow commissioners. I, I, I saw the video footage. Highly entertaining. Um, and, you know, it's another way of, of growing the industry, which I think is great, with professionals that know what they're doing, proven commodities in this community. So 
I, I like what I see, and as long as we have proper regulation around this, and we're authorized to do this, I like it. 